Good morning guys. Last video I did, I realized I showed you my room and I've done some more things since, but I didn't kind of tell you what I've got. So let me try to show you what I've got going on. Now, this is the uh, pork and bean sedum right there. And got Echovedia. This one's a Pearl von Nuremberg, I think. Yep. Now this was set in my front um, doorway into my house outside. And got some stretching for the sun, I think. I'm wondering if this boy is gonna have to be beheaded as Echovedia. Echeveria is going to be headed, and that's Lola. And these are the fire sticks. And here's the Calicoe flap jacks. And I got a lot of those. I've got some big ones. My African violets are coming on. And I got a uh, timer now yesterday with the night light on it actually for my uh, two LED lights. Here's my golden barrel cactus and I think for the purpose of this and my money tree for the purpose of this video I'm gonna turn the lights off. I think I mentioned this one this is a uh, uh, Talensia Tectorum Fuzzy and this is a Talisium the names are kind of getting to me, but this is a uh, Cacticola, and this is really soft. And I got another one here, it's a, I think this one's a, Z a Zero Graphica air plant. And I guess I didn't label this one because I thought I would remember it, and I think I did. But the shells I had around, and I'm using them this cactus I've had I'm not sure exactly which one this is the euphorbia is in the back I've had for many years when it was part of a display I think it came up to here initially about 10 years ago and I kind of got into the cactus and succulents really because of this these two plants that are pretty tall because I kind of neglected it in the bathroom. I didn't water it ever, and it still grew. So I kind of liked the plants because of it. And here is a gold spine prickly pear. It's kind of a double plant there, isn't it? I could probably split it if I wanted to, but I like the way it looks. The pads look kind of cool. And here's an Optia sapphire. I think it's this Optia Sapphire Wave is what it's called. So, and so I think this is a bunny cactus. It's really soft. It's one that if you want a cactus that isn't, you know, in the house that can cause your kids damage or anything, I think that bunny cactus, I don't recall the name of it. Here's my golden barrel with a plant. I gotta get, gotta get some needle nose in there and pull that plant that's hidden there already. But I got three of those. And I got a couple of palms that I bought over the years and I put them outside, but they don't do as well. So this year I just kept them inside. Here's another one of those Calicoid flapjacks. This one was near the front door which is why it's got the red. It got lots of good sunlight. Chrysella, so a jade, E.T.'s fingers. And a lot of these plants, um, well, I put them a lot outside, but um, some of them didn't do as well because they got some burnt or insect damage. It's another one, another Chrysella called Hobbit. And this is one of my Aldi plants I got. I think uh, Portuguese palm tree. I've only had it 
it for maybe a few months now, but it's got some pretty cool spikes. On it. And here are some, actually the pads um, from that, um, what was it? A sapphire wave had dropped a pad and I went ahead and I um, put that in. And I think the gold spine, it's like golden spines to me, huh? Is there? Here's my lithops. This is the one I might have showed you in the past that was flowering. So they can be finicky plants, but I don't think I'm gonna water them at all anymore unless they really get wrinkly like a uh, skin or um, until next fall, or I'm sorry, next spring. So there's another assortment of cactus I did from Aldi. It's kind of hard to see. I think that's a, is that a Gasteria? An alloy, Caveria. Spiny cactus. And I brought this tray in from outside. Alloys, different Cresella, Echeverias. And this one's kind of cool. This one is a, uh, let me get the sign, the Indian corn cob. Euphorbia, Malaria, Veratia. A lot of names, huh? But that'll look nice. The Brahman, Brahman plants I've got, Brahmine, can't pronounce that, but you know what I mean. One good thing about these boot trays, you can just bring them out to water, to show, to swap around. So, set up this year is actually a lot easier than it's been in the past. Sorry, Max. Golden Sedums. Chrysilla, Silver Dollars. An alloy, looks variegated to me. And a lot of these are my orchids. This one's not doing well. I'm gonna toss this one. But a lot of them are doing okay. And I'll move them around. I got a growth on this one. More golden barrel. With a flapjack here. This one's a Sirius Peruvianus Montras. That one. Sirius Monstras. Different types. Again, I got these. I think they're like $1.99 each at Aldi this summer. And there's some of those I gotta identify. I just made a display. Golden Barrel. This is my Optunia, Optuncia Eve's Needle. I'm kind of getting used to these names. This has grown quite a bit. The flapjack I put on each end. A bunch of babies I'm starting that are ready to go. So I've got to identify some more of these plants specifically, but I like to know. This house plant, I'm not sure what it is, but I like it. It's draped. And here is a There you go. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna pronounce it. Now I know why a lot of house plants have common names. And here is my beautiful agave. It's got serrated edges. Look at that. It's cool. This 
spine. So this one's called, I think it's just a uh, blue flame agave. Mother and tongues into the printer. So anyways, I wanted to slow down and give you guys more of a view Christmas cactus of my, I think that's a Christmas cactus or is that a Thanksgiving cactus? It's like little claws, I'm not sure. Yeah, check it out. Didn't know there was much of a difference before until I saw someone else mention theirs. But anyways guys, a little bit more slow down of what my plant room looks like. It's coming along, I'm pleased with it. And you guys have a great day.